Hello Scorpios, welcome to your love reading for June 2024. If it resonates, consider a personal pre-recorder or a live reading. Just click on the link tree below to contact me or text me 646-902-5715. Otherwise, let's get to your reading and see what's going on. Holy Spirit, angels, divine guides, universe, can you please read your truth, your wisdom, your clarity, and your insight for a Scorpios for love for June 2024. What do you see? What do they need to know to reach your higher ground and come closer to universe and closer to divine? We have the Eight of Wands in the upright for energies prior to June. Make sure you click on the Vimeo link below for um, three things. I've cha uh, changed things up this month. So in there, I will have what your ex is thinking, how you can move on from someone you would like to move on from, and who is coming in for you in June, soulmate or otherwise. The Emperor card in reverse is the card of Aries, and those are the love energies for June. In my playlist, the 2025 Sun Moon readings are going to continue to come out soon, as soon as I get a little bit more time. Um, put your requests in the comments. I'll put you in queue. 2024s are still in there. In my playlist, see if they ran true for you or somebody else. We end on the Four of Wands in the upright as you move out of June into July. Um, and then finally, look me up on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok. Like, share, subscribe, donate, refer a friend um, in... Uh, in appreciation of my efforts. That's always greatly appreciated or just support my channel. Um, I feel like something turned around. I was trying to see if something did, but no. Okay, Scorpios. So let's see what we have here. Sorry for the for the interruption, but um, I had something I didn't intend to, and now I'm back. So um, in the position of energies prior to June, we have the Eight of Wands in the upright. So I feel as though you are um, communicating with somebody. I feel as though you have connected with somebody, and things are moving forward very quickly. So um, you know, typically with the Eight of Wands, the the communication is flying back and forth, and, and there's a lot of really um, you know, engaging conversation going on and, um, you know, can't get enough, enough of each other in a verbal sense. So, and I think that is what's causing things to get people excited. Well, for you guys to be excited and you guys to say, hey, let's get a move on. So very much of a whirlwind kind of romance I feel is going on here. Um, I think I'm going to do clarifiers one by one because I'm going to wait for clarifiers on that card and probably wait for clarifiers on, on the other card. So why is the Eight of Wands here in the upright for Scorpio's energies prior to June? Who is this person? What is this energy? Why are you showing the Eight of Wands for Scorpio's prior to June? Okay, we have the Four of Swords in the upright. We have the Two of Swords in the upright. And we have, what else do we have here? Uh, okay, the Five of Cups in reverse. So I think that with this person, you're just keeping it chatty. I don't feel as though you're making any concrete move kind of towards them. Um, I think you're kind of holding them off a little bit. Um, one of the reasons why is I feel as though for some of you, you could be in therapy or counseling, um, sorting something out, but on the other hand, I think you guys are taking a break from uh, dating or uh, getting into a relationship with somebody. I think you're enjoying your peace at this time, kind of getting your thoughts together, you know, reorganizing things before you kind of um, fully get into a relationship with someone. So you're fine to talk to somebody or you were fine to talk to somebody, but not looking uh, to move anything forward in regards to that. Or so you think, because we have the two of swords in the upright. And again, this is stalemate. You're just kind of not doing anything. You're not being proactive or advancing. You're just sitting there and taking everything in. We're figuring out as much as you can about this person just by talking to them. And like I said, there's a lot of conversation going on. And I see with the five of cups in reverse that the reason why you're doing this is you're going through a period of just just kind of getting back to your old self again. I feel as though you went through something that was very hard, um, very grief stricken, very sorrowful. You could have actually, um, you could actually be in mourning from someone that physically passed. So you're, you're just trying to get back to where you were. You want to be your whole self before you wanted to be your whole self before you get into a connection with somebody. Um, why is the Emperor card here in reverse for Scorpio's energies for um, June? Who's this person? What's this energy? Additional messages, please. <clears throat> okay. So we have the Emperor's card in reverse. We have the uh, Seven of Pentacles in the upright. And we have the Ace of Wands in the upright. Um, okay. So I still don't know if I'm going to go with Scatter. Um, 
I, I, I'm feeling kind of torn with Emperor card in reverse. I feel as though there are dots that are not connecting in regards to this person. Um, and I feel as though you're trying to figure things out. And you guys are usually pretty good at figuring things out because you're into research and like, you know, looking into that kind of stuff. And there's a female or <coughs> a feminine energy that is attached to them. Uh, it could be an ex could be a parent of one of their children. Well, I guess that would be an ex. Could be an overbearing um, relative. Um, and I feel as though this person is constantly in their business all the time. And I feel as though you don't know what to kind of make of that. Um, I feel like it makes you, their presence bothers you and that the person that you're with seems to be okay with that. But to you, it seems very intrusive. And you're thinking, well, if I get into a connection with this person, this person comes along with them, and I don't know how comfortable I am with that. So I do see you considering, is it going to be worth it for the long term? If you do put up with this other person and respect the fact that, you know, this is a part of their life, um, is does this relationship have a chance for success? Um, so you're looking at it from a very practical kind of standpoint in that regard. But the Ace of Wands in the upright has you having this connection with this person that's just out of this world. Very passionate, very fiery. Um, the intimacy is fantastic. Um, this person is not a boring person. So it, it's very, and you have a desire for them. So it's very hard to, I mean, have a connection like that, have this stuff that comes along with it, and then kind of say, oh, well, well, this is so great. I'll just ignore this. So I think that's where you're um, kind of torn. <clears throat> but I feel like you proceed with the four of wands and the upright. So June going into July, I feel like you decide to take the first step with this person and say, you know, let's, let's just do this. I, you know, I'm ready. I don't know what's going on with this person, but let, let's take that delicate step and at least become exclusive. If not have a promise to one another, move in with one another, um, <clears throat> meet each other's friends and families, things of that nature. Um, so, I mean, and I do see you're, you're pretty happy in making that decision. So it seems like it's the right decision for you at the time. Um, why is the four of wands here in the upright for Scorpios? Who's this person? What's this energy? Okay, we have the eight of pentacles in the reverse, the queen of cups in the upright, and we have the temperance card in reverse, which is a card of Sagittarius. So, I'm feeling with, with this combination, even though you're moving forward, um, you know that it's going to be two steps forward and one step back. I think that you um, be careful of your expectations that, that things are going to kind of work themselves out. I think it's going to be just something that's ever present in your relationship. But I do see you have a deep emotional attachment to this person as you move out of June into July. Um, you know, and that is a really hard thing for you to turn your back on. Um, this is a relationship that to you comes once in a lifetime that you want to nurture, you're devoted to it, you want to cherish it. Um, but the temperance card in reverse um, has you kind of imbalanced about everything they come with. Um, I feel as though at times their baggage that they have uh, makes you feel, um, you know, out of sorts, uh, makes you think negatively, um, kind of puts you in a bad mood. And I think that that's just what comes along with the territory. And I think you're kind of realizing, well, if I feel this way about this person and they make me happy, then I kind of have to accept everything that comes along with it and the moods that are going to go along with me having to accept that. So that's what I'm seeing at this present time. If it does resonate, consider personal pre-recorded or live reading. Just click on the link tree below to contact me or text me at 646 9025 715. Otherwise, click on the Vimeo link below for, I'm going to have three things in there. Uh, what is your ex thinking? How can you move on from someone you want to move on from? And who is coming towards you in June, whether it's a soulmate or otherwise. And then in my playlist, 2025s will start coming out again. Now it's that it's a summer. Woohoo! Um, <laughs> 2024s are still in my playlist. See if they bring true for you or someone else. And then finally, look me up on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, like, share, subscribe, donate, or for a friend in support of my efforts. That's always greatly appreciated. Otherwise, Scorpios, I will see you in your Vimeo reading. Adios from Veronica Garnett. Bye.